Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see a small concept in JavaScript that is the variable declaration and initialization. So we all know that the variable is a memory location which holds the data. Okay, so we are supposed to store some data into that particular variable. So for that variable, we are giving some names. Okay, so how to declare the variables in JavaScript? So in the previous sessions, we have seen where to write the JavaScript. So the script tag can be written either in head tag or a body tag. Okay, so now how to declare the variables? So here we are having a keyword called var, var followed by the variable names, followed by the variable names. So we can we can declare a lot of variables by using this var keyword. Okay. So either it can be a string, it can be an integer, whatever it may be. Irrespective of data type, we have to declare the variables by using the var. Okay. And initialization, so this is the declaration, right? So this is the declaration. Now, so example for this declaration, so V A R some A comma B comma C. And here each and every line should uh, end with the semicolon, similar to our C language. Right? Now, so initialization. Initialization. So initialization means assigning some value to that particular variable. So we have to give some value to that variable. Either it can be an integer or a string or any other data type. Right. So this can be happen with the help of assignment operator. Assignment operator. So what is this assignment operator? So assignment operator is nothing but is equal to a single is equal to. Right. So the variable name the variable name is equal to value variable name is equal to value so whatever the expression we are using we have to use this assignment operator so on the right hand side of this assignment operator is the value and the left hand side of this assignment operator will be the memory location that is a variable name so if you are using some expression the left hand side will be the memory location and the right hand side will be the expression to be evaluated right and that expression will be evaluated and the complete result will be stored on the variable which is the given in to i mean given at the left hand side of the assignment operator right so this is how we we'll assign the value to the variable for example here we have declared three variables a b and c now we can give some a is equal to 10 b is equal to 20 c is equal to 30 so 10 will be stored into a 20 will be stored into B, 30 will be stored into C and give the result is equal to A plus B plus C. So the complete addition. So on the right hand side of this assignment operator, the evaluation will be done and the result will be stored into the right hand side, the left hand side uh, variable name. That is a mem memory location. This is a memory location where we have to store the data. Right. So this is how we can declare a variable and initialize a variable right so only one keyword that is where keyword where keyword is used to declare the variables right so i, I will i will uh, give you a small example uh, let us see some addition of three numbers so i will uh, explain i will write the code for addition of the three numbers by initializing some uh, by declaring some three variables and initializing some three values and uh, we have already seen uh, the uh, different types of outputs uh, possibilities, right? So how many ways we can write the output on the screen? So uh, by using one among those output functions, we'll see how to print the result on the web page. And uh, I will give the link of uh, the output uh, possibilities in the description section so that uh, you just follow that link and you just uh, know about this uh, output functions like document or write. Uh, window.lr, console.log or in our HTML. So there are a number of ways we have seen. Right? So let us move on to the system. So I will demonstrate this in a declaration and initialization. Uh, and also once again we will see the output uh, output possibilities 
in addition of three numbers. So let us move on to the system. Hello friends. So just now we have seen how to declare the variable and how to initialize a value to the variables. Now let us write a small HTML code. So in that we'll write some scripting and in that we'll declare some variables and we'll initialize and we'll see the demonstration of this thing. So first let us start with the HTML content. So HTML tag. So inside the HTML tag, uh, we can we can write the script. So whatever the JavaScript that should be written in script tag and that script tag can be included either in head tag or body tag. Now we'll, we'll go with the head tag. Okay, head inside the head, we'll write the script and here we'll write some variables. So each and every variable should be declared with the keyword var, var followed by a comma b comma c. So these are the variables. Okay. And keep the semicolon. So here uh, each and every statement to, should end with a semicolon. And I will initialize some values a is equal to some 10 and uh, semicolon b is equal to 20 semicolon and c is equal to 30. Right. So three variables. And now write the expression some result is equal to a plus b plus c. Now I just want to display on the screen. So document dot write sum of three numbers is comma result. Okay. And close the script and close the head open the body and you can write the body so whatever the thing you can you need you can write so i will write in h1 so demonstration of variable declaration and initialization and close the h, h tag and close the body tag and close the html tag right so this is a small thing in order to find the addition of three numbers. So add dot HTML. So this is a basic thing. I'm just demonstrating how the variables can be declared and initialized. Okay. So in the further sessions, we will see how to get the values from the existing content, existing elements. So for example, take some forms. So in the form, you just enter the number so that that number will be uh, initialize it to some variable and the, it, that will be evaluated in the expression right so all these things will go in the further sessions so in this session i'm just concentrating on how the variables will be declared and how the values will be initialized so variables will be declared with by using the var keyword and uh, initialized by using the assignment operator double is equal to, i mean is equal to so i will save this one and uh, let us execute this one so that the content will be displayed directly on the web page See, you can observe here sum of three numbers is 60. So demonstration of variable declaration and the initialization. And this we have seen. And also one more thing, we can create a button and after clicking the button, we can write the on click property. So we can call the function here. So in the script, we can write the function. Okay, in the script, in the script tag. So implement everything in the button, I mean in the function, right? So function add. So add is the function I'm just calling. And after this one, I'm just ending the thing. Okay. So now I will just create a button. So button type is equal to button and go with the on click property. On click is equal to so add button. Okay. Add function. So add. So just go with this one. Uh, write down the text to be displayed on the button. So add. Close the button tag. Right. Now, if you execute this one, so we'll get a button here. See, add. So, if you click on this add, we'll get the result. Sum of three numbers is 60. So, you can also apply the tags here. So, h1, h1, right? So, that will be applied here itself. So, after clicking on this one, you can get sum of three numbers is 60, right? Or else, instead of writing all these things, you can simply go with window.alert. So we have seen different uh, output functions. Okay, output functions or statements. So we can also use the inner inner HTML. Uh, I have already explained all these output statements in the previous session. So I will just post the link of these output statements. 
so in the description section so that you just uh, refer to that so that you will get an idea how how many ways we can display the output on the screen right so window dot alert give here addition of three numbers is now you can observe here if you click on this add we will get an alert box okay so previously we have written some uh, document dot write so that it will directly write the content on the web page but now i am just using the alert box alert box so that it will be displayed here it will be displayed here right so hope you understood this session so if you are having any doubts regarding this session so feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that definitely will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really understood my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so thanks for watching thank you very much